I've tested some gimbals in the past, starting with smartphone stabilizers and then converting to mirrorless cameras like with my Sony A6300 and back at the time that was where I started to use uh, one of my first DJI products which was the Ronin SC but nothing can compare to the DJI RS2 Pro combo which I'll show you in this video. So I ordered the Pro combo for numerous reasons. Once I want to use my manual lenses like this lens from SLR Magic. Uh, come on, focus, focus, hello. Yeah, then you say the autofocus from Sony is fast, but yeah. Um, as you can see, uh, it has all the different gears uh, on it and you can't really control it with like a follow focus system from small rig or tilter. Um, it's not built for a gimbal, so I ordered that. And also the RavenEye unit, uh, which I use for wireless control for the gimbal with my smartphone uh, and also the motion control system but enough of the spoilers i cover that and everything else in the video so watch the whole thing and also watch out for different chapters in the description uh, where you can skip to different parts which you like now i'd say we switch to the top down view and i'll show you what's in the package so things you will get in both sets are for example the carrying case uh, you get it with the standard set and the pro combo then there's obviously the gimbal there's a power grip or kind of like a battery grip then you'll get a USB-C charging cable to charge the battery then there's this lens fastening strap and the screw here's the strap which you can mount to your camera to secure your, your lens. You screw it on like that in front of your camera. Then you'll find this mini tripod. You can mount on the bottom of your gimbal to secure it or place it somewhere. Then you'll need this uh, Aqua Swiss plate with the quick release mounting point here, like that. So you can slide your camera on and secure it. So you don't have to fiddle around every time you want to take off your camera from the gimbal. So that's that. Then you get this briefcase handle, which you can mount on the gimbal to make it easier to get it into the lower positions. So you mount that on the right or left side of the gimbal and then screw the tripod on. And now you can go into the lower mode. Then there's also this camera riser with two screws on each side, uh, which we'll need for the follow focus system, which I'll, I'll show you in a bit. And now the last items of the standard set are these four cables, which all connect to USB-C on the gimbal side. And then you get different out outlets on the other side for your camera. Like this one is a USB-C to Sony Multi, which I use with my Sony a7 III. Then you'll get a USB-C to micro USB, a USB-C to USB-C, and then a USB-C to mini USB. So these are all the parts which are included in the standard set. And now we'll move on to the Pro Combo and see which accessories you get in there. A phone holder, then there's the focus motor you'll need for obviously focus control, then the rods and the mounting kit for the focus motor then a lens gear strap to control your focus if it doesn't have doesn't have pre-installed gears then the raven eye unit for image transmission which also comes in very handy then there's this kind of like a cold shoe adapter you get some screws and an allen wrench and you get an extra uh, USB-C to USB-C cable and a bunch of HDMI to mini HDMI, micro HDMI and stuff like that. Cables. The gimbal itself has a very nice touchscreen which is also very practical and in the settings you can control like every single bit you can think of so you don't really need a smartphone app to control your gimbal anymore so that's very useful. And then I also purchased the uh, Ronin focus motor, which you screw on to the side of your gimbal, right there. 
but the included focus ring here is a bit more practical and a bit more convenient because you only need one hand on the gimbal on the grip and you can simultaneously control the focus or what you set it to and with the focus ring uh, fo gear focus gear you need one hand on the grip and one hand on the focus wheel so you need two hands which isn't that useful for one man videography dji included in the rs2 also a mode called super smooth which stabilizes uh lenses up to 100 millimeter i get i think and for this you'll need this lens fastening strap or kit uh, which you mount to the front of your camera plate uh, you mount it right here so you take this and screw it on like that or you can also flip it around if you have longer lenses to set up your gimbal simply click in the battery grip and lock the handle you can obviously mount the tripod on the bottom or use it with the briefcase handle i showed you earlier to have a much better grip when filming low to the ground the charging port for the battery is now on the grip itself which is far better than having it on the gimbal because you don't have to place the, the whole setup to your charging station. Now you can leave the gimbal in the case, charge the battery, snap it back together and continue filming. The quick charge function allows a runtime of 2 hours with only 15 minutes of charging time which is just incredible. DJI says that the gimbal only weighs 1 kilo and has a payload of 4.5 kilos, which uh, for the payload I guess is true, but I think they didn't include the battery grip into their 1 kilo, so it actually weighs a little bit more. But nevertheless, with such a high payload, these few grams don't matter that much, and also because the arms are in this carbon design and are way lighter than before. All three axes are also lockable, with, like with the gimbals from Scion to make it much easier to balance every individual axis by itself. You can also lock the screen by tapping the power button once to avoid any unintentional setting changes by pressing something on the screen. If you don't need the gimbal to be turned on right now to, for example, have a quick lens change or any other modification, instead of turning off the gimbal you can simply double click the power button and put it into standby mode. It powers off all motors and you can make it changes and when you're all set you can wake it up again. The RS2 has a mode and record button like all the other gimbals and also a joystick to manually control the camera angle or to set in and out points for time lapses or controlled tracking shots. One flaw the Pro Combo has is with the uh, included focus motor when I use it and spin the wheel uh, too fast or if I set the speed of the wheel to a, high, a higher number like above 60 or 70 and spin it around very much to kind of get a uh, fast focus pulls uh, my camera slips away to the right and the rotor rotates in nothing so yeah that's kind of like a negative point but I thought about uh, using these kind of cheese plates to mount my camera to two points because now it's only on one uh, screw so it can slip away like that but if it's mounted on two screws it can't slip away so I'll try that but yeah. I want to give you a quick update on the whole slip away situation. A few days ago I purchased this quick release plate from Smallrig which is especially made for a DJI gimbal. As you can see it has two screws that perfectly mount to my small cage. Now you will ask yourself, shouldn't the plates that come with the gimbal also mount directly to the cage with two screws? Well, I tried and tried and found out that the holes are just the tiniest bit further apart than the holes from small rigs, so no, I don't know why, but you can't use them with two screws like the one from small rig, so yeah. But now with the new plate the camera stays in place like it should have been since the beginning. I also have to mount the rod extension kit to the front instead of directly to the camera plate, but that doesn't really matter. I only experienced some space problems with all the locks and handles. They are all so close together that I can't get my setup ready and balance it. Uh, I have to place my setup like I would use it afterwards, but not screw it down. Move the rod with the motor forth, lock the DJI handle, then move the rod with the focus motor back again 
and then lock the rod with the motor in place. It's all a bit complicated, so it doesn't really matter if you didn't follow. It's all a bit tricky and maybe DJI should have thought about these occurring problems in the first place when using the focus motor with different lenses. But as it looks like now, a 15 euro small rig plate solved the problem and I can live with that. If you want to know more about the gimbal or any accessories or any different parts uh, you want me to cover, I can make uh, another video about that. Just let me know in the comments. There we go. So yeah, I think let's close the video. Okay, so this was really everything from the Pro Combo. I hope you have an overview now of what additional features the Pro Bundle has over the regular set. And maybe you want to compare different brands to the DJI RS2 and look out for more budget versions. But I think as far as I am aware, uh, the RS2 for its price is one of the best gimbals on the market. With that being said, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Consider liking and subscribing for more camera gear reviews and I'll see you in the next one.